Hey guys, it's Simon, and good morning on this Sunday morning, day before the market opens. Um, I had another request for a video, and this one is on how to place an OCO order. An OCO stands for one cancels other, and the reason why it's called that is because you're placing a, a buy and two sells at the same time. And the two sells, one is for a profit and one is for a loss. So if one of those two cells gets triggered, then the other one gets canceled. Canceled. So that's why it's called OCO. Uh, so we're actually going to. I'm using the on-demand feature, and we're back on November the 20th, um, 2018. I'm actually going to fast forward this up till up to nine, nine o'clock, because it's a little bit um, volatile the first 15 to 30 minutes. And so I tried this once before and it autom it filled the order and then sold the order like immediately so i don't want it to do that so i'm going to let it uh run for a little bit too so that way everything gets populated so while it's doing that i'm going to talk a little bit <clears throat> so we're on amazon in order to place this order we're going to go to the trade tab and i'm going to change this to 12. so you, and you, i'm hoping you know this that you can actually change this to all of the options that are available for that date or you can, if you don't want to scroll all that m amount and you're usually going to buy something close to at the money, then you can change it to a different, a, a shorter number, a smaller number, so that way um, less is showing. So anyway, so we're going to do a OCO and we're going to do a strike price depending on how the underlying runs. We're still waiting for a lot of this stuff to populate. We're going to buy an OCO order around at the money. So once we do that, we're actually going to pause it. And place the order so you right click on it and you do a buy custom OCO bracket we're gonna pause this so that way it's not running while we're doing this and we're looking at what well, like I said up one buy and two sales so the buy is whatever the ask price is you can obviously change that if you want to to whatever you want if you want to save a little money on your option and see if it fills you can also make change it to a market order so that way it fills faster and keep it for the day and the best exchange so the first sell order is actually the profit so what we want to do is set it for above the price it actually defaults to above that price that you're buying it for so you can change this to whatever you want so let's say you wanted to change it to 84 and so whatever the option premium price reaches 84 it'll sell your option for a profit and we're gonna change this to good till cancel because once the buy is in force or in in play then your sell these two sell orders will not trigger until one of these two prices are hit so if the option lasts longer than the day you want to change it to good till canceled because options if you place an option order and it doesn't fill within that market day it'll cancel the order at the end of the day so in, if you in order for this to, to stay enforce for over a day period you'll have to change it to good till canceled and then the second sell order is the loss it's basically a stop loss so we'll change so it's 82 10 we'll actually change this to 80 because i don't want it to stop out while we're talking and we'll change that also to good till cancel and so we'll confirm and send it'll give you all the details of a normal option and we'll hit send so it filled immediately even though we're paused which is fine so we'll go to the chart and you'll actually see that we have all of these orders. So let me get this to go on for a window one minute. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start it back up. And so what we have now is one stop loss and then one sell for a profit and you can see all of the that in your working order so you can see on your working orders that you have these two cells one at profit and one at loss so that one filled and we'll pause this again so what happened was Amazon hit the price where we wanted to sell for a profit and so here you can actually see at the bottom it's sold for a profit and then if you go to the monitor tab you'll see that 
this order was canceled, and this is the stop loss that was canceled. So you made a profit of $470 on that trade. Um, you, you bought Amazon at 80, 85, you sold it at 85, 55, and the stop loss never got triggered, so it got canceled. And that's basically all it is. And you can do the same thing with actual shares of the, of the stock. You just do the same thing. You click on the price of Amazon on your trade tab, and you buy cost custom, do an OCO bracket, and you can just do it per stock instead of doing it for the option. So I went back and looked at the original question that um, was asked, and it does ask the question as reference to a trail stop. So I'm gonna do this again, but I'm gonna do it on actual live account because you can't do a trail stop on the um, on-demand feature. Uh, I'm gonna, the first half of the video is kept, obviously, because you've watched, you've watched it up to this point, but this is now, we're gonna do a trail stop order on an OCO bracket. So we'll do the same thing. We'll be, we're on Amazon again, it's today. Uh, December 29th um, and this is my real-time account on demand is not active and we're gonna right click on the Amazon option that we're interested in and do the buy custom as we did before with an OCO bracket and as before the first one is the buy so you can change that to a, a market order if you want it to fill right away you can change the price of the ask down a bit so if you can get it at a, see if you can get it at a cheaper price um, so, and that's not important right now. What's important is this sec is the first cell. So the on the top side, or on the profitable side, we want to change this to a trail stop. And the reason why we use a trail stop instead of a trail stop limit is because on a trail stop limit, it can't have a price link to the tr trigger order price. So it won't let you confirm and send that. So I messed with this a little bit and unlinked it and did a couple other things, but the easiest way to do it is just do a trail stop, which means it's gonna be a market order. And then you can change your trail stop to a percentage, a dollar amount, whatever. Um, I will, I, my preference is a 5% trail stop below the present price. And then on the bottom side or the, on the, um, the losing side of the trade, if you want, you, you want to put your stop order in, and I'm just gonna keep it at what it's at right now. So these are all option prices. And luckily on Thinkorswim, you can see the expected underlying price at each one of these areas right here in right below the, um, the order. So I'm not gonna send this because it's not gonna fill anyway because it's the weekend. But to do a trail stop, you just change it to a trail stop and change whatever you want the trail stop to be. So on the top side, as the price increases, your trail stop would follow it and then once it dropped it would once it started dropping the trail stop would mark there and then once it hit below that point or hit that point it would sell and obviously on this side it would just sell below this the buy price the option so i hope that answers the question that was asked and if there's any more questions feel free to comment in the um, comment section Thanks, guys, and I hope everybody has a green day tomorrow.